Hey guys, Chris here and welcome back to another LEGO City update. Today we're finally going to be moving the rest of LEGO City to up here, to my awesome new LEGO Studio, as well as experimenting with some new layouts for the LEGO City using the existing stuff that I already had downstairs. Okay, so starting off this week's update, as you can see I've moved all of my modulars up here that I have at the moment, and in comparison, that is the size of the haunted house compared to the probably the tallest one I have, which is my custom hidden side <laughs> set. So as you can see, it is a lot bigger by quite a way. And actually, this is going to be very difficult to get into my city because I don't have much height room. So I think it might have to go maybe more over here where uh, it can have the height maybe next to the staircase. But as you can see, this is all of them. I've got the garage there as well, the Lego store the Toy Town Shop, the mini modular mocks that I was making before, which is pretty nice. And then the park is over here at the moment just because I don't have the room. But an awesome package came this week, which was this. So what's in these boxes? Okay, so what are these boxes? They're all actually the same, except one of them is actually slightly smaller than the others, but they're all the same thing inside. And what they are is, is my new Lego City legs for the tables. Now. Why am I showing you these separately to everything else? Well, it's because these are actually very, very unique in the fact that I spent absolutely ages for hunting for these small legs. They're obviously not as big as the ones from Ikea, but they're also not as small as the other legs from Ikea, which are like the desk legs. These are 30 centimeters high, which perfectly fit with the Kallax drawers that I have over there, as well as they actually have a little screw out adjustable bit at the bottom, which allows me to then get everything looking absolutely bang on in the Lego City. So, Super excited when I found these. I will leave a link in the description for people who may have height issues as well with their kind of area. They do lots of different sizes for these, so they're also really great for if you wanted to have them as different extensions to the city and have taller sections and things like that. So these are really, really cool. They are a little bit more pricey, but they were probably fulfilled by Amazon, sadly, so they're probably someone making a good profit on them. But they weren't too bad. I think they were around £25 for a pack of four. So not too bad, obviously not as cheap as Ikea prices, but let's get these on the tables, or the two tables that I have at least, and then let's see what they look like in the city. Okay, so I'm guessing these just go in like normal Ikea ones, so I'll probably just use the Ikea pilot holes for two of them. Shouldn't really matter, if anything I have to pre-drill holes. And the legs are on. And as you can see, I have added a little bit more because you just screw these up and it's really cool to get them to be the exact same height as those uh, Kallax drawers, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see, this is not where the table is going at the moment, but I just wanted to show you that is going to be the size of this side of the city, which is going to be absolutely awesome. And then I've just done a tape measure to show you from that side, that's where it's going to come to here as well. So, as you can see, there'll be like a gangway where I can walk kind of round here, lots of room, and have full the entire city. So there's gonna be this table here I'm gonna put there to start with now because I'm gonna start really sorting out this part and making this really nice whilst I'm waiting for the new tables because it's gonna be a lot harder to get into once I kind of start stacking up the city. So I wanna make it as dense as possible around here, look at getting train ballast and sorting out the train station and train set up first. Then I can work on the back and maybe sort out the train station. It might be, the train station might be here, so I might need to wait for another table yet. But as you can see, this is looking amazing now. So you can see the more the potential of where the other actual tables are going to go. So it's going to go all the way around here and then all the way along the back as well. And potentially even because I've got another one of these tables, I might actually have the table coming out so that there might be a table up to here as well. So you've got all that back. But I'm not too sure on that yet. It depends kind of how I can get to stuff. These are actually fairly easy to pull out with these legs. So I might make it so that I can easily pull these out to then get to the back to dust and things once a year and stuff. But at the moment, I think this is pretty damn cool. So what I'm going to do now is move this table over here and do some hoovering. And I have got this table as, a, as the spare table. So I might actually use that with some of the legs if I need to expand around just to see where it's going to go. So I can move it for when I get the new ones. But... Let's carry on and move this table now into its correct place. So now I've put the table where I think it'll be going. And as I can see, I actually have way more room than I thought I did. You see there's a big gap here and a big gap there as well, as well as behind here, there's also a big gap there that I could expand on. So 
I've actually got a lot more room than I thought for this city. So it's actually going to be bigger than the the three tables that I thought because that actually adds up. You know, it's at least half a base plate if you add the two gaps that I put there. So I might need to figure out some way of doing this. I know people do gaps, but I'm a bit concerned that it gets a little bit hard to do the gaps there. I don't know if any of you guys who've got cities do gaps in them. It'll let me know, but I kind of prefer the tables to be nicely butted up together, but that's just me. But yeah, as you can see, that's a lot of the, well, that's pretty much all the sets that I've got so far in my tiny city downstairs. And as you can see now, it's gonna have so much more room. Cannot wait. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean all this mess up here to get, I've already done a lot of the cleaning. As you can see, none of the mess is here now. I need to move those screws over there. And uh, yeah, this I might pull this out and put this on there for now, just so I've got somewhere to put my sets as I can then start building the city here. But as you guys can see, none of the stuff's got broken down. I didn't break anything moving up, touch wood so far. So um, yeah, let me know where you think stuff should be going. Cause I'm gonna now start kind of mapping out. I know someone mentioned moving this to there and twisting it. So I might try that and see how that looks and then maybe have the road here. That could be quite interesting actually. I don't know why I didn't think of doing that before. So that's a great idea. Modulars I have at the moment. So, and the mini mocks and stuff as well as the haunted house, as you can see, it is very, very close to the top of the ceiling. So it has to come out quite a bit into the room, but that's gonna be going over here when I get the roller coaster and stuff. So my idea is potentially to maybe have Ninjago here, Ninjago City. I need to get, I need to get those sets. I don't have them, but my Chinatown around here, and then over here maybe is the theme park area, with the maybe the haunted houses here or something, and the theme park and stuff. Okay, so I've been moving around some of these Lego sets, and I did what one of the guys suggested in the comments. Sorry, I've forgotten which person it was that did it, but they suggested to put the corner garage next to the assembly square and to be honest i'm not too sure i find that these bricks are so similar color but not it just looks a little bit jarring to me almost looks like this is almost like fake lego it looks like to me and i know it's obviously not but it just doesn't quite look right whereas obviously the birch box is exactly the same color so i think i'm going to move this completely out of the way i'm not too sure yet because i don't have many modulars to work with but i started kind of putting these kind of sets around here as well so I may actually just put this one right up to this one and see how it looks. I'm not too sure, and then have all my new the mini modulars going that way. So maybe let's do that and take a look at how that looks. So I know this video looks like it's kind of just me moving modulars around, but it's taken me ages to kind of go back, move things around, test it out, have another look and see if it's all going together. Now, I kind of thought actually the hidden side, I might take this off here and then have this butted up to the bookshop there so I want to know your guys thoughts on that whether I should do that and then that gives me the room to then have the train track going around and obviously that's kind of an abandoned building next to the train line I thought that could kind of look okay and also it's nice-ish colors they kind of go together obviously this and, and that are the same color so could look quite good and kind of blend together nicely I think also they kind of look similar in terms of their style with the two pitch foot bits here and the two pitch bits here and also that bit there resembles the clock so it kind of looks like they could have been built at the same time, almost. Just an idea. And then here I've actually decided to make that go all the way to there. Now, obviously there's nothing here at the moment, but I might put something here, maybe, like these little sets that we get. So I could fit something like the burger stand there. Um, and obviously have to modify it, but I could make it slightly bigger or even have a nice park bench or something. But I was thinking that this could go there or there. So that's just fallen off. It's almost like another little shop on the corner. I think it would actually fit better here. I'll just put that randomly there. And I actually think that looks kind of cool because it's almost like that's the fish and chip shop. Then you've got the little burger stand for now. I do want to make a bigger, like kind of McDonald's style drive through one at some point, but I do think that look, kind of looks okay. So I might actually do something like that and just mock that in. And then I was starting to put the mini mock buildings that I've done before around here. But then I broke them apart and I thought this actually looks quite nice with that little bit there and then the Lego shop there with then the car stuff here. And I think that actually looks really nice. And actually the car actually looks, car store actually looks pretty good next to the diner as well with that little bit of a gap. So if I take a step back and just kind of show you how that looks, I think that's starting to look pretty good. It's getting a little bit bare here, but obviously when the train track gets added in, I'll probably end up putting some more stuff around here. I might even try and do a facade if I can. They'd have to be very, very short, but 
they might fit okay just to add a little bit of scenery. But that's kind of where it's looking like it could be okay. And then obviously it'll be a little bit further across to then have the uh, train station, which is obviously over there at the moment. But I think I could move this around and play with this. The car garage might actually get moved and put a few shops in between the Lego store and the car garage. So let me know what you think about that, whether I should add a couple more kind of stores here and then the, uh, the service center. I think that might be the best way to go. I've got a couple of three-in-one sets, retired ones that I need to show in a hall when they finally come and stuff. So that could be something there. But I think this is kind of starting to look okay. Because now what I want to do in a couple of weeks when I've, I've ordered the parts today on the double VIP is actually get the track. I've got the ballast so that the track isn't kind of like all wobbly. I want to get it all fixed and looking really good before I start adding more and more tables in for when they come in a couple of weeks. So I'm trying to get this area at least looking as good as kind of possible. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have to work on stuff over at the back and things after that. But if I can, let's get it kind of as good as possible, at least then, so I can start seeing things. Because this is the thing with this city. It's completely, I started it in a completely different area, and these were custom made for that area. So it's going to be a little bit of trying to shove uh, square pegs into round holes at the moment. And I might have to come back to these sets and redesign them to fit more of this area. But I think that is kind of getting there. So what I might do is now actually pull this table over here, because I've just got this very small table here, over here so I can kind of see what the train station might look like there for this week. And then next week I think I'm going to then spend a very long time tiling all of this and starting to put my minifigures back. But before I do that, obviously the, the corner carriage is also on the floor here. I might have to put that somewhere as well. But before I do that, I actually wanted to show you, these are all the cars that I just brought up as well from downstairs. So these are all the cars that I need to put back into the city as well. So these are all the ones that I had at the moment. And I've also built a couple of new sets. So this is a Friends 5 Plus supermarket, but I really liked some of the actual pieces in this set. It had like a cornflake box and some of these milks as well as some items. So maybe you guys have got some ideas for me using this to mock something bigger, which I thought was kind of cool. Then I also have, uh, these are the accessories that kind of came with that set that is, and this came with this set, which is another friend set, which is like an Italian restaurant, which I thought looked really, really nice as it is. Not too keen on these kind of lilac colors, but I think it looks okay if you kind of take a step back because it matches the grapes and stuff. And then I also have this, which is the building from the Monkey King mech. So I've got quite a lot of little buildings around and about that can start making new areas. So when the tables come, I'm gonna be more sporadic going around and adding bits here and there and that kind of stuff and obviously the house is just on the floor there at the moment because i have nowhere to put it okay so the train station's there haunted house is there um, i'm gonna move this over here and then see what that kind of all looks like and then i think that'll wrap up the week i think it's got lots of things there for you guys to give me some ideas and thoughts on and let's do that quickly and then let's take a better look again okay and here it is with the train station put there and i decided to put the uh corner garage back there which is obviously kind of how it was set up before so I do like that combination I just that looks really good with the coffee store here and then the uh, the corner garage there Joe's garage I think it just looks really really nice obviously this this isn't the right table anyway it's going to be a white one to match all the others but it was just put it there just to show so the train station will be moved along because we'll have the gangway here so the train station will probably be one or two base plates along which does give me room to move this over so i think i might keep these as they are i'm not sure you guys let me know if you like the diner here or not next to this little bit here because i thought here i could modify remove the door and add a little area to put bikes and stuff like that instead of this sandwich which is from the uh, the park before but i was thinking i could move from here over and then add a few more shops maybe move this lego house completely and use the new lego store there but i was thinking of getting a couple of those lego stores using them as kind of skeletons and then adding shops inside them so i could use them as kind of the little skeleton area and then if you guys come up with ideas of what you want in each of the shops i'll make them like vanilla add them here and then we could go through and do those each week so you guys let me know if that's a good idea or not but other than that i'll go to the outro okay so that's it for this week's lego city update i really do hope you enjoyed the process of me moving the city upstairs it's a lot of stuff behind the scenes but i really did want to show you guys as a lot of you are requesting seeing my new layout and my room and stuff so i hope you've kind of seen a lot more of what i'm doing in my new youtube area next week i'm going to be concentrating on doing the pavements or as the americans called sidewalks because i want to have i've got a couple of designs that i want to have a look at and then potentially come up with an idea of how all my pavements and sidewalks are going to look 
in the city. As well as I'm going to start adding my new cars back into the city and some new minifigure layouts and scenarios. I love, love, love doing. That's why I really like the city. So if you guys have any ideas for some of the minifigures you want to see and what they're doing in the street as it's currently laid out, let me know. And also please comment down below on the little different areas and what you think should go where because I'm really still mapping it all out at the moment. And that's the great thing about modular buildings and stuff and how I've designed the mini modulars. I can move them really, really easily, clip them back in and see how it all looks. But other than that, have an absolutely awesome day and I'll catch you in the next LEGO City update. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.